What is up, everybody? This your boy Lolo, aka I'm your Sancho, back with another motherfucking video, baby. What we're doing is uh, my buddy uh, decided to drop off his car. Uh, we ripped out his headliner. It's not this one. This is my car. I was just test fitting it. And pretty much we are redoing the headliner uh, in uh, an LV print. And on top of that, we are also going to do some, uh, some VIP stuff here. And we are going to be installing a chandelier. And we are going to wire it in so it's fully functionable for him. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be a great one today. Each piece goes in individually. And then you pretty much just unwind it so it just sits there and it holds itself. Um... So this kit is uh, from uh, a buddy of mine um, on Instagram. You guys can you guys can follow him at VIP Aesthetics USA. I'll go ahead and uh, put his at or his Instagram right now. So you guys can go ahead and get a hold of him. He makes uh, strictly VIP stuff. For he could pretty much do almost any model. He just needs the information and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. He makes trays. Um, chandeliers obviously uh, I believe he does pillows dash mats and he can redo door panels as well I'm not positive on that but go ahead and hit him up and then ask him get a quote he's a really super cool guy and he has a super gangster uh, 5 series beamer um, yeah that thing's super clean too so yeah go ahead and hit him up but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started on the headliner fabric for now and then we will work our way up to the chandelier so we got this uh, performance high temp spray. Uh, it said it's uh, specifically for carpets, uh, foams, and standard headliners. So I picked this up at a fabric store. Uh, if you live here in Reno, Nevada, it's called uh, Mills End. And they got all types of stuff there. Fabric, fabric uh, reupholstering, anything fabric pretty much. They got this. And I think any fabric store will have something that's similar to that. So that's what I got. And then also I have this bag that I use specifically for headliners. Um, obviously you're gonna need some really good kitchen shears to get that nice firm cut. Some hot glue for sure, some glue sticks. I'm gonna have to go to the store right now that we're gonna have to pick up some more. But pretty much what you're gonna need. So we're gonna go pick up some more glue and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. So first off, before you start it, go ahead and lay down your fabric and make sure that you de it's definitely wide enough and it's long enough. So we definitely over-purchased when we got this fabric. We um, wanted to be for sure, for sure, and not make another trip back to San Jose, but we got three yards of it. And I think this right here in the middle happened due to like being in the in the car, like in the heat and stuff for a while. So definitely be careful where you put your your fabric at. But luckily this is where the sunroof is at. So we'll be cutting this piece out anyways. So right now we're gonna do a test run. And I recommend this to anybody, just do a quick little test run, see how sticky it gets, how fast it gets to, to stick. Because um, you never know. It's kind of like, you know, like putting your foot in the water, just to double check, make sure it's too cold, too hot, you never know. I thought around the edges it didn't want to stick too well and also because this is a heavier fabric than I'm used to using so I recommend getting a hot glue gun they're super cheap you put them around on the edges and help it you know like stick especially right here is where it's really crucial because these dips as soon as it sticks to here and here it's just gonna lift this part up so those those where it dips in where it folds and stuff those are crucial points to put hot glue so we're gonna go ahead and just lay it all right here towards the end and in these dips right here so now what we're doing is we're driving to mill's end actually we ran out of uh adhesive spray because i was really going ham on that shit because um yeah like i said it's a really really heavy fabric it's almost as heavy as the denim one i did but also, my 
hot glue gun decided to take a shit also. So, I mean, you know, that's what I'm in now. You know, fucking midway through a headliner and then shit just takes a shit. So, we're on our way to Mill's End right now. Um, I really hope they sell glue guns. I don't see why not, why they wouldn't. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head over there and then we're gonna come right back and hopefully yeah, everything's good to go. Fucking bitch. Damn it. So that sucked. Uh, we just got here to Mill's End and I didn't even know they closed at fucking six o'clock. So that fucking sucks, huh, Gujo? Nah, he's just staring at me. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna go to our secondary store that we always go to for our, well, it was my plan A, but now it's my plan B. We're going to Joanne. This one is located on the corner of Kitsky and I want to say Peckham. Yeah, it's on Peckham. So we're going to go there and hopefully they have the same adhesive spray because I worked with that one last time and it was really good. And we're going to also buy another glue gun. So it is the next day. Um, it took way too long last night to um, <clears throat> get that headliner situated just because we got to put so much hot glue on it. Um, it came out good, but there's still a couple parts that I noticed that is like slightly lifting just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and touch that up. Uh, but right now we're going to go uh, handle some errands and then uh, we got to go to court later. So after all that's done, we're going to come back and then uh, we're going to finish up the headliner. <laughs> Also, another thing that we got is, if you guys remember my last GS, you're going to remember this part. Ta-da. But, this one's not mine. This one is my buddy Lupe's. We went with a different color this time. Since the color scheme we're going with is going to be black and red, we decided to go with the black and red katana ship knob. You just grab that bitch, you can just untwist it. It's going to untwist for a good amount of time. Not that fucking thing anymore. I just don't like it when I have to use adapters and shit for ship knobs. But I guess since this car is an automatic, it doesn't really matter that much. So, you got four different adapters. They all fit the shift knob the same way, but what they're mainly for is to see which one fits your shifter the best. So this one's got the tightest fit, so I'm definitely gonna go with that one. I always want a tighter fit rather than something that's, you know, that seems like it, it can go on and whenever I wanna take it off, it'll come off easily. I always go for the tightest fit. And I think that's just common sense, but you never know, some people, they're curious if there's a certain way to do it or not. Okay, now that we got that off, we're gonna go ahead and just break that off. We don't need those. Comes with these screws and a small Allen key. Start threading your adapter to where you can get a good feeling where it's going to stop threading pretty much where you're gonna have your, your stopping point at. The reason why I say this is a lot of people will just jump right into it. They're just stuck. like. Where they thread it to is pretty much where it's going to be and they end up with the shift knob looking like, supposed to, supposed to look like this, looking like this. So thread it to where you're comfortable with. Me, I like to do it to where it's pretty much all the way at the top of the base. So right there is a good mounting point. And then go ahead and put your shift knob in. So there's two different ways you can put it in. You can put it in this way with the bolt showing. You can put it in this way, but but the bolts aren't showing here, but they'll be showing on both sides. So me, I would rather less bolts be showing. So I'm just going to do it this way with uh, pretty much with the bolts, two bolts facing my way. So now you want to grip your shift knob, however you picture yourself shifting. And then once you're comfortable with where it's going to be at, go ahead and start locking it in. So we're gonna tighten up all these bolts and then I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like when it's done. It's just nice, looks good. I'm happy with it. 
ignore my McDonald's. So, pretty much, uh, headliner's done. But there is a couple spots because the vinyl is very thick and it's pretty heavy. Um, there is a couple spots that started uh, to uh, not bond as easy. You can't really see it because of the camera, but this one you can for sure see. I could push it down and uh, this spot too. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our little tool here. And we're going to poke a small hole just before it hits the vinyl, but past the padding. So pretty much anywhere that has these circles on it is where it needs work at. So we're going to poke it through. And on my glue gun, I have uh, like uh, the tips can swap out. So I got a fine tip that I'm going to switch out and I'm just going to insert it in there and then just squeeze it down. All right, so now that the headliner is done and I did all my spots and everything, I measured pretty much from this corner to this corner and it came out to a total of 41 inches. So I divided uh, 41 by two to figure out which one's the halfway point and it says it's 20.5. So I measured the, not the circumference, but pretty much from one end to the other. And that measured out to be about, I think it was 8.50. So pretty much you divide 8.50 by two, which you get like 4.25 or whatever. So you're gonna subtract that from both sides and it should give you, I, I can't remember right now, I just wanna get it done, but I believe it's like 16.25 for each side. From this corner to, to this corner is 16.25 and same thing with here. And that's just the circumference. I mean, the the pretty much how wide it is, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure from this end to where that bolt is at. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side. And pretty much where we made our small dots is where we're going to put our drill marks. That's where we're going to drill the hole for the bolt. It's not even going to be big. It's going to be a really small one. And then that's how we will be able to mount the chandelier. Once that is mounted, then you got your ground wires. Um, well, that one's your ground wire. You got your positive and your negative. And pretty much you can wire that to whatever you want. Um, in my friend's case, I think he wanted to do it to uh, pretty much his, uh, his door lights, I believe. Uh, I'll double check. But um, pretty much that's what we're going to do with this. We're going to wire it in like that. So now that um, we got the headliner done... Um, my buddy is going to go get his roof worked on real quick because he's got uh, some dents in it and stuff. So he's going to get that, that body worked out. And then after that, we're going to throw the chandelier back on the headliner and uh, we're going to install it pretty much. So I'm at the store right now out of like the millions of different stores I've tried already to fucking buy some water. And finally, I bought some water. A fucking 40 pack got finessed for 20 fucking dollars, bro. You people are tripping about this coronavirus, man. This is fucking ridiculous, yo. This is fucking ridiculous. It's got such a higher survival rate than the regular flu. And y'all over here tripping about getting toilet paper and fucking water, man. You people are fucking selfish and just fucking are just retarded, man. Fuck, man. Honestly. So, anyways, um, as soon as my buddy drops off his GS, then we're going to install the, the headliner and then, yeah, we'll proceed from there.